New at four, the recently released movie Five Feet Apart has sparked a conversation about cystic fibrosis. It's a progressive genetic disease that causes persistent lung infections and limits the ability to breathe over time. Right now in the United States, about 30,000 people are living with it. Our Tammy Tremblay talked with a local CF patient, uh, patient about his journey one that has turned into a love story, I understand, Tammy. It sure has, Dee. Kim Haskell says his wife is the reason he is doing so well. They went to see Five Feet Apart, and they agree the movie is creating more awareness about the disease, which is great for the CF community. A guy that ignores the rules because it makes you feel in control. Am I right? You're not wrong. Five Feet Apart hit theaters this spring. It's a romantic drama about two young patients with cystic fibrosis. They're supposed to stay six feet apart, but agree to get a little closer. There's a lot of CF patients who just starve for that attention or, or that communication with people who are going through what they're going through. And with a disease like cystic fibrosis, it's very dangerous to interact with other people because we are especially susceptible to each other's diseases. Kim Haskell went to see the movie with his wife, JC. He's been fighting cystic fibrosis for as long as he can remember. For my parents, it was, it was kind of a big all at once, wow, now all of a sudden we went from having a normal kid to this, we've been told our baby's not gonna live until it's past 18. But Kim is beating the odds. He is now 25. His life expectancy has been pushed to 37. Still, it was a hard conversation to have with JC back when they were dating. Honestly, it's about this, probably about the scariest part of my life mm -hmm. was having to give that information to you and sit back while you made your own decisions about it. I was really nervous about it, and uh, we definitely had to, kind of had to comfort me with that a little bit. We have our little difficulties each day, and then sometimes you have the really big ones that come about, but uh, for the most part, it's always manageable. Kim comes here to the St. Luke Cystic Fibrosis Center regularly yeah. to make sure yeah. he's yeah. staying on top of the disease. Yeah. His lungs function at 40%, so he needs medical help to stay healthy. You'll see other examples of treatment in the movie Five Feet Apart. And Kim says it's pretty right on, even if some things are exaggerated. He says this movie is serving a big purpose. For cystic fibrosis, this was our ice bucket challenge. This was a big community event that brought awareness. To it kind of creates a sense of community. So there's an awareness there and there's a sense of community. There's people rooting for you. So that's really cool because, you know, during those tough points, that's what you need is people rooting for you. And luckily, they have had a great support system, especially in each other. And she is just my other half. She is the reason that I'm able to do and operate at the capacity that I do. And they know researchers are doing the best they can to keep this unit and so many more together longer. It's people like that that really inspire all of us who, who struggle with this and make it feel doable to have CF knowing that people are out there fighting for you. Kim tells me there have been a lot of great advances in medications to fight CF, and he knows more are coming. As you heard him say, he was supposed to live until he was 18 years old, and now doctors say 37 years old, but he expects to live much longer than that. Oh, I love hearing those stories. You know, I've heard about cystic fibrosis my whole life. Actually knew someone when I was younger who passed away at a much younger age from the disease. So that is encouraging to hear that yes. there's progress being made. Thank you, Tammy.